If I had to pick a favorite isopod from the Armadillidium genus, this just might be the one. Hi, I'm Russ of Aquarimex Pets, and today's video is a species profile and care guide on Armadillidium gestroi, or gestroi. I've heard it both ways. I'll start by introducing the species, next I'll cover care and housing. After that, we'll look into the potential for Armadillidium gestroi as a biocustodium. Last but not least, we'll talk about this species as a pet isopod. It's said that Armadillidium gestroi comes into the hobby by way of France and Italy, but unlike some other European isopods in the same genus, it has not become widely distributed throughout the world, except within the isopod hobby. With regard to a common name, it is sometimes known as the yellow spotted isopod, but more often than not, I think people usually refer to it by its scientific name, or just gestroi for short. It's thought that these fantastic colors are an example of Batesian mimicry. Within the native range of this colorful isopod, there are pill millipedes in the genus Glomeris, with a strikingly similar appearance. The millipedes can secrete a distasteful fluid when disturbed by potential predators, and so presumably the isopods are left alone due to their resemblance to this distasteful millipede species, even though they themselves cannot secrete any sort of protective fluid. It's often stated that Armadillidium gestroi are sexually dichromatic, in that the females tend to have lighter skirts than the males. I'm not sure if this is true of all populations of the species or not, but it does seem to be widely reported. Gestroi seems to take some time to mature, but it is one of the larger, stockier representatives of its genus. Unfortunately, I don't have any specimens near the maximum size at this moment, but even this moderately sized specimen is visibly wider than an Armadillidium vulgare of approximately the same length. Like other Armadillidium species, Gestroi is capable of conglobating. Beyond the already fantastically colored wild type, Armadillidium Gestroi doesn't have a large number of morphs, but there is at least one morph that is becoming established in the hobby. Brandy of Ractastic Rax, a breeder of both geckos and isopods, has been working with a morph of Gestroi for about a year known as Zinger. Rather than simply try to describe it, let's take a look at some that Brandy was kind enough to send me. I'm excited for this unboxing from Brandy at Ractastic Rax. Ractastic Rax, as you might understand from the name, is uh, a website that uh, not only includes New Caledonian geckos, but also isopods. So, excited for this one here. I guess you already know what's in here, but so do I. Does not detract from the excitement. Heat pack still has a little residual heat in it. it is it actually arrived a little bit late, not the fault of Brandy, of course, it's the uh, FedEx was late, a little bit. That's okay, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Here they are, oh wow, look at those. They are even cooler in person. Let's pop on the macro lens and get a closer look. These are absolutely fantastic. Look at that. The boldness of the Armadillidium gestroi pattern, but with the stark contrast of the white against that dark background. It's just amazing. And I don't think video will do it complete justice, but at least you can get an idea of how how gorgeous these isopods are. Wow. Thank you, Brandy from Racktastic Racks. I'll put a link down in the description to Brandy's website. You can check it out. And maybe if you're lucky and there's still some more available, you can pick up some zingers yourself. In a moment, we'll delve into care and housing for Armadillidium gestroi. Before I do that, I'd like to thank my patrons at Patreon. Supporting YouTube creators can take many forms. Of course, you're helping to support this channel at this very moment just by watching. Another outstanding way to show your support 
is by pledging as little as a dollar a month through Patreon. One thing I really enjoy about Patreon is the interactions through direct messages with patrons. If you'd like to help out and see what Patreon has to offer, please click the link at the end of this video or down in the description. Without further ado, let's get into the care of Armadillidium gestroi. This species is fairly undemanding as Armadillidium species go. Not surprisingly, it does best with a moisture gradient in the substrate and seems to spend a decent amount of time in the hydration station or the moist and mossy side, more so than some other species in the genus. I provide moderate ventilation for this species, which seems to work quite well. Gestroy seems to like most of the foods other species in the genus Armadillidium do. They have a great appetite for leaf litter, and vegetables such as squash, zucchini, sweet potato, carrot, and similar items should also be offered. It will also readily eat fish food pellets and prepared isopod powdered foods as well. I'll put some links in the description. Breeding this isopod species may take a while. Not only do they grow a little bit more slowly than some isopods, they don't tend to breed until they are quite large. I got my initial stock as minuscule juveniles, so it was over a year, I believe closer to a year and a half before mine became mature enough to breed. That said, once they do begin breeding, they produce pretty large numbers of offspring at once. They don't seem to produce quite as frequently as some other Armadillidium species, though. I've never kept this species as a biocustodian. I expect it would do a decent job in setups where it had a good moisture gradient and would be unlikely to be eaten. But as I have not put this species to the test, I can't say for sure. I don't think it would be prolific enough to handle much predation pressure in a bioactive vivarium. If you've used this species as a cleanup crew member in a bioactive vivarium, please let us know how it worked out in the comments. Where Armadillidium gestroi really shines is as a pet or display isopod. Not only does it have one of the most marvelous color schemes in the isopod world, it's a fairly bold species that will spend time in the open so you can actually appreciate those colors. As I said, it reaches quite a respectable size too. I have a small acrylic display enclosure of gestroi on my desk at work, and whenever I glance at them, there are usually some of them hanging out in the open at any given time. When I feed them, they do not hesitate to come out in the open, in ambient light, and graze on the food I've provided, till they've eaten it all. They're not nearly as frenetic at feeding time as, say, dairy cows, but I wouldn't call them particularly shy. And I will note that when kept in a tub, and when I have to open the lid to see them, they do seem a lot more shy than when I keep them in a clear display case. Though they'll produce well once they start breeding, they're not nearly as prolific as dairy cows, for example, and if you just want some as pets, that can be a point in their favor as well. To sum up, if a gorgeous display isopod on the colorful and somewhat tranquil side is what you're looking for, Armadillidium gestroi is a fantastic choice. You seem to like these isopod species profiles, and I certainly enjoy making them. Take a look at the playlist up here. I'm adding videos all the time. Which species should I feature next? Please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with Wednesday live streams, all on aquarium and vivarium pets with lots of isopod content. Feel free to rate, share, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for notifications all so you don't miss my next video.